Today I'm going to synthesize the beautiful but extremely lethal chemical mercury iodide. I want to strongly warn against anybody attempting this experiment in particular as mercury and its salts are extremely toxic and a powerful environmental pollutant. In any case, to get started I first need to dissolve my mercury metal using concentrated nitric acid. This reaction will immediately produce dangerous nitrogen dioxide gases as well as mercury 2 nitrate. It's very important that concentrated nitric acid is used here because if weaker nitric acid is used, your product will be mercury 1 nitrate, which won't work for this experiment. You can determine what you produce by adding a few drops of this to some water, as mercury 1 nitrate is fairly insoluble compared to the 2 nitrate. I made this mistake recently when synthesizing fulminated mercury, and mercury compounds just aren't something you want to make mistakes with. Anyway, once the mercury is totally dissolved, I make a 0.2 molar solution of potassium iodide and slowly add the mercury nitrate to it. At first, no precipitate is going to form as mercury is able to form a very soluble complex with excess iodide. Eventually though, the bright orange mercury iodide will begin to precipitate and fall out of solution. This process can technically be done with any mercury-2 salt, and I even tried this with mercury-2 chloride, which still worked even though it's a lot less soluble than the mercury-2 nitrate. If you have a mercury-1 salt, it's fairly easy to convert it to a mercury-2 salt by the addition of sodium hydroxide, which will precipitate mercuric oxide. Mercuric oxide is already in the plus-2 state, so adding any kind of acid to that will result in a mercury-2 salt. Anyway, my next step is to pass the solution through a coffee filter to collect my precipitated mercury iodide. This is allowed to dry for a day or two, and at that point you need to be very, very careful of this compound as it can easily form dusts which are extremely dangerous if inhaled. The dried mercury iodide is transferred to a glass petri dish, and I'm going to put it on a hot plate and crank it up to 150 C. Mercury-2 iodide is one of the few inorganic compounds that exhibits thermochromism, or changing color based on temperature. This is because mercury iodide can exist in a bright red alpha form or a bright yellow beta form at temperatures above 140 C. By heating it above this temperature, it'll convert to its beta form, and by cooling it down below this temperature, it'll convert back to its alpha form. I think this effect is extremely interesting, and I think it looked even better on the second run if you want to hang around for that. In any case, I hope you found this interesting, and if you'd like to see more content like this, consider giving me a follow. If you're interested, you can also subscribe to my YouTube, which would be a great way to support this channel financially without giving a dime. I'm trying to monetize my YouTube, which is very hard to do with how short my videos are. So if you'd like to, consider it. If not, no big deal.